Hi, I'm Rochelle Kanikoa. I'm the trainer in the customer assistance section at Seattle City Light. Our agents are hired because of their abilities to deal with people. We're proud of the way they do their job. Here's one of our customer service representatives. Let's see how she handles some calls. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Yes, uh, my range is broken. I need to make an appointment for, for a repair person to come out and fix it. It'll have to be an AM. Okay, what's the problem? The oven element. Uh, it doesn't work properly. I can't cook my food. Okay, so it's the oven. And what's your address? 4106 Corliss Avenue. Okay. And your name? Larry Shaw. Last name S H A W. Okay, your phone number? 6536837. Okay. Are you the owner? Yes, I'm the owner. When can, can when can someone get out here? Well, we don't have any morning appointments uh, available till Wednesday. Wednesday. Is that the 24th? Mm. The 17th? Mm. The what 17th. about 9 a.m.? Well, we don't make any appointments. It would have to be sometime between 8:30 and noon. So I have to spend the whole day waiting for a repair person to come out? Well, just the morning. Well, I guess that, that I have to do. Okay, are you aware of our charges? Yes, I'm aware of your charges. Okay. I don't care if it costs me an arm and our arm or a leg. Okay. Okay, we'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Who is this? Seattle City Light? Yes, this is City Light. Well, I'm just an old man, and I can't hear anymore. These light bills are doing me in, though. I'm on a fixed income. I mean, things are bad enough in the summer all the time already, and I'm just about caught up to where I'm supposed to be. And now here come these winter rates again. When is this going to end? Winter rates will end the 1st of April. Then they'll go back down again until December. Uh, down and up and up and down. The more they go down, the higher they get. I just don't know what I'm going to do this winter. Now, what is your account number? Uh, account number? Yes, your City Light account number. I don't know. Is it on my bill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this it? One, zero, zero, six, nine, three, two, five, five, zero, one. Is that enough? Yes. Willard, okay. Willard Spring. I see, Mr. Spring. Well, your previous payment record is fine. Would you be able to make a partial payment by the end of this month? If you could pay $75 of the $120 bill, we could carry over the balance to the next um, bill. $70, $75? Mm -hmm. I guess I could pay that. And then I just don't know what I'll do the next time. That bill's likely to be just as high. Maybe I'll be dead by that time, though, and I won't have to worry about it. I'm sure that we'll be able to help you out again next time if you have problems with your next bill. We're here to help you, so please feel free to call back. Uh, thank you, I guess. Goodbye. Thank you. Seattle City Light, Sally speaking. Yes, I need to check the balance of an account. Account number 1001678100. Zero one. What's your name? Well, it's under James Lee. I'm a friend. I can't help you then. I can't discuss the account with anybody but the person whose name is on the account. Well, that's ridiculous. I've been paying on this account for the last 10 months. It's against the law for me to discuss anyone else's bill with you. Well, if you can't discuss this bill with me, why should I even pay it? Well, city policy prohibits us from disclosing information about people's accounts to others. Thanks a lot for nothing. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. Yeah, bookkeeping department, please. 
Bookkeeping? We don't really have a bookkeeping department. What's the problem? Problem? I don't know what you people are smoking down there, but you aren't going to get me to pay for it by charging it to me on my light bill. Do you want my name or what? Your account number, please. I haven't got it memorized. My name's Bill Murphy. How about your address? My address, my address is 2421 Boyer Avenue East. Haven't you got anything under my name? I've been getting your bills here for 12 years. You never had any problem with that. All right, what can we do for you? What can you do for me? You can correct my bill. I'm not going to pay it. You have a copy of the bill there? Mm -hmm. What's this 960KWH at point two five six? And then you're next at point five one five. Did you read my meter or what? That's the winter rate calculation that appears on your bill. And yes, we read your meter. Well, how come the second part's so much higher than the first part? I didn't do anything different than I did before. This, this has got to be wrong. I didn't use that much electricity. Could somebody else's electricity be going through my meter? No, and the meter doesn't lie. Well, how do I know you read it right? I never saw anyone come and read my meter on February the 15th, and I was home all day. We read the meter, sir, and comparing this bill to last year's, it looks like it's correct. So there's nothing I can do about it, then. You people are always right. We can send for a check read and let you know if it was correct. Yeah, do that. You better do that, because I know this can't be right. And then send me the right bill. All right, we'll check it to make sure it was correct. Thanks for calling. Oh, thanks for calling. Jeez, can you believe these people? Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Yeah, credit department. One moment, please. The line is busy. You might try to call them later directly at 625 211 Oh, 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 I've been trying that. Now, don't you hang up on me. I'll wait on hold for however long it takes. Now that i got a hold of you, I'm not going to do this again. You'll have to dial that number yourself. I need to clear the line to help other customers. Wait, well, I'm getting tired of this, and I want some service here. I'm a customer. And you know the customer's always right. Now, you get my lights back on, because I made arrangements with a multi-service center to get my light bill paid. And what's your address? 14721 Bothell, B-O-T-H-E-L-L, -L, Way Northeast, Apartment F, as in Frank. The lights have been ordered on by the credit department. Ordered on? A lot of good that's doing me. They're not on, and neither is my heat or my TV or nothing. And my kids are sick, and I've been sick, which is why I missed my appointment, so you turned off my lights in the first place. You better get somebody out here before you kill us all. We'll turn them on as soon as we can, sir. Tonight? Yes. Uh, they'll try to get them on by to 9 o'clock tonight. You just be sure that somebody gets my lights on tonight, or I'm calling the mayor and I've got your name. You can't treat us this way just because we are poor people out here. Okay, they'll, they have their name. They'll try to turn them on as soon as they can, well, they sir. they better. Seattle City Light, may I help you? Yes, my bill was due yesterday. I'm so sorry. I mailed off the, the check two weeks ago and forgot to put a stamp on it. Now, you won't believe this, but it just returned the day's mail. And now it's overdue. Um, I don't want my lights turned off. Where can I go to make this payment today in person? You can make that payment at our main office downtown, at the North or South Service Center, or at community service centers. Well, I hope I can find one. I feel like such an idiot, honestly. Um, I guess I better take it down to the main office. So don't turn my lights off before I get there. Where are you located? Uh, the main office is at 1015 3rd Avenue. Okay, I'll be right down then. Please don't turn my lights off before I get there. Oh, we won't. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. There, didn't I tell you our customer service representatives do a pretty good job? A pretty good job, yes. But should we be satisfied with that? You know, with just a little more effort, pretty good customer service can become world class. Let's look at how your customer service reps can better handle the same problems just a little differently. Maybe we could do a little bit better.
Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Yes, my range is broken. I need a repair person to come out and fix it. It'll have to be in the AM. Okay, what seems to be the problem with the range? Well, it's the oven element. It doesn't work properly. It doesn't heat. I can't cook my food. Okay. Do you know if it's the upper or lower element, or is it both? It's the lower element. The broil, uh, the broil element works just fine. Okay, I see. What is your address? 4106 Corliss Avenue North. And your name? Larry Shaw. Last name is spelled S-H-A-W. And your phone number? 653-6837. 653-6837? Yes. Are you the owner, Mr. Shaw? Yes, I am the owner. When can we get someone out here? Well, we could have someone out to see you sometime tomorrow, but I can't promise a morning opening until Wednesday the 17th. Wednesday? Can you come at 9? Well, we can't set the time of the call, Mr. Shaw, but uh, we can promise that we'll be there sometime between 8.30 and noon. So I'll have to spend the entire morning waiting for the uh, repairman to come out here? No, it's not necessary that you stay home. Uh, you could leave a key with a neighbor or make some other arrangements, uh, or if you like, we could call you from our previous stop and you could go home and meet us there. Well, okay, that'll be great. Have them to call me at the number that I gave you. Okay, uh, we'll call you then at 653-6837. Yes. On Wednesday morning, our okay. trip charge is $17.95 and labor is $11 per 15 minutes or portion thereof, plus parts and tax. Ouch, is that competitive? Yes, our, our rates are competitive with other appliance repair services. Okay, see you Wednesday then. Okay, thank you, Mr. Shaw. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. Who is this? Seattle City Light? Yes, this is City Light. I'm Sally. How may I help you? Uh, Sally, I'm an old man, and I can't hear anymore. These light bills are doing me in, though. I'm on a fixed income. And, I mean, things are bad enough in the summertime already. And I'm just almost caught up to where I'm supposed to be here. And, and here come these winter rates again. When is this all going to end? Well, I realize it's a tough situation. Perhaps there's something we can do to help you. Yeah, help me pay this bill. Well, there are some ways we may be able to do that, but I'll need to get some information from you. Can you uh, please read me the account number from your bill? It's account at the top number? left. Mm -hmm. oh, this must be it. A one zero zero six nine three two five five zero one. Is that enough? Mm -hmm. Willard be. Springs, the name. Okay, Mr. Spring. There are several things we can try to see if we can help you. Uh, the first one to try is the Energy Assistance Program. A assistance? Yeah, the Energy Assistance Program. There's some money available to help customers on lower fixed incomes with their winter bills. Do you have a pen or pencil handy? I'm going to give you a number to call to see if you're eligible. A pen? Okay. I've mm -hmm. pen eligible? Yeah. Okay, the agency in your district is called CMAR, and their number is 872 Four two three eight. Eight seven two two three eight. Uh, no, it's eight seven two four two three eight. Eight seven two four two three eight. Right. Okay. CMAR. Right. Now there's some other ways to help you too. There's a special rate for low-income seniors and disabled That's people. That's me. I'm which, 86 okay. years old. Okay, which you can apply for by calling the Mayor's Office for Senior Citizens. Their mayor's number, Office? Mm-hmm. Their number is 684-3235. That's a different number than you gave me the first time. Right. This is to get a special rate for all your bills, summer and winter. Oh, am I like my phone bill? Uh, I don't know about your phone bill. I don't know if they do that or not. You should call them and find out all the things. They have more than just the city light rate. And there's one more thing to do, Mr. Spring. We have a program called the Average Payment Plan, and you can average out your payments over a year's time so that you pay the same amount each month instead of having to face those high amounts each winter. Oh, no matter how much electricity I use, that sounds 
No, so. it's, you do pay for the uh, electricity that you use, but they average the payments out the same amount each month. Well, average payments would certainly be better than these high ones I'm making now. Yeah, okay, I'll send the application to you for that. Well, thank you very much, young lady. You're welcome, Mr. Spring. Okay, well, goodbye. Bye-bye. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Yes, I need to check the balance of an, of an account. Account number 100-2351-6101. And what's your name, sir? Uh, the account is under uh, James Lee. I'm a friend. I am limited in how much I can tell you. Department policy prohibits disclosing information about James Lee's account to someone else. Well, I've been making payments on this account for the last 10 months. Well, if you're the one that's making the payments, uh, it would be easier if I changed the name on the account or added your name to it. Well, if you want to, but James is returning next week. I've just been house sitting, and I just want to know what have you, I just want to know if you have received the balance, received my payment, my last payment. Oh, certainly. What was the amount, and when did you send it? Thirty-one dollars and two cent, and I sent it last last Tuesday. Yes, that payment posted the day before yesterday. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for calling. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Yeah, bookkeeping department. I'm not sure who you should speak with. If it concerns a light bill, I should be able to help you here. Well, I sure hope you can. I don't know what you people are smoking down there, but you aren't going to get away with making me pay for it by charging it on my light bill. Do you want my name or what? Yes, please. And your City Light account number. Bill Murphy and Hell, I don't know my account number. Now, what's your address, Mr. Murphy? My address is 2421 Boyer Avenue East, and I've been there 12 years paying the bill every time. You have no trouble knowing my address when it comes to mailing those things out. I see. The computer is a little slow this afternoon, so it'll take me just a moment to access your file. All right, Mr. Murphy, is it the February 15th bill for 153.72 that you're calling about? Yeah. What's this 960 kwh at .256, and then your next at .515, or did you guys read my meter or what? Where do you come up with this? I'm taking your questions in order, Mr. Murphy. During the winter rate season, the first 960 kilowatt hours used in a two-month billing period is 2.56 cents per kilowatt hour. Everything over 960 kilowatt hours is billed at 5.15 cents. And yes, we did read your meter on the beginning and ending dates of the billing period, December 15th and February 15th. Well, then how come it's so high? I know it's got to be wrong. I don't use that much electricity. Somebody else's electricity must be going through my meter. Well, if you're concerned about that, you could pull the main fuses or your trip your main breaker and check your meter to be sure that it's stopped. The meter measures only the electricity which is going into the circuit board. Well, well how do I know you read it right? I never saw anyone come and read my meter on February 15th, and I was home all day. Often the meter readers begin their routes very early in the morning, and they're trained to read quickly and move on. So it's not unusual that you wouldn't notice them. If you'd like, I can send you a publication which shows you how to read your own meter so that you can check our readings and monitor your consumption. Yeah, yeah, send me one of those things. I don't know about this monitoring stuff, but I need to check up on you guys. You know, I've been trying to cut back on my electricity, conservation and all. It hasn't made any difference. This bill's higher than last year's. Well, looking at your billing record, actually you're succeeding somewhat with your conservation efforts. This bill is actually about 10% lower than the one for the same period a year ago. Since you're trying to do something about controlling your consumption, let me send you uh, some more literature we have with pointers on how to keep your bill manageable. Oh, all right. I'll try anything once, if it works. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Yeah, give me credit. I'll try to connect you. Do you have your account number handy there? That one nine nine seven five seven two five six zero one six zero zero zero. Just a moment, please. I'm sorry, the line is busy. Perhaps I can help you. What's your name, sir? Davis, Greg Davis, D A V I S. I see your lights have been disconnected, but the multi-service center has pledged to pay the bill. 
The lights have been ordered on by the credit department this afternoon, Mr. Davis. Ordered on? A lot of good that's doing me. They're not on. And neither is my heat, or my TV, nor nothing. And my kids are sick. And I've been sick, which is why I missed my appointment, so you turned my lights off in the first place. You better get somebody out here before you kill us all. Our line service has the order, sir, and they will do their best to get to you before 9 o'clock this evening. So the crew has the order, then? Right, and they will do their best to be there before 9 o'clock. All right. I got your name, and I may be calling you back. Okay, Mr. Davis. Seattle City Light, this is Sally. May I help you? Yes, my bill was due yesterday. I'm so sorry. I made a, out a check two weeks ago and mailed it but forgot to put a stamp on it. 